guys, so a certain turn of events has meant that I actually have the possibility of fostering parrots this summer uh, while I'm home from uni. So I thought I would give you a quick tour of the ferret shed um, that I've completed. So this is what I've done to prepare for them. So many of you may recognise this shed if you have seen it before in my other videos. Um, I bought this ooh, quite a while ago. Nala was in it initially um, and I've made a few adjustments for the ferrets. So first thing is there's this new mesh door and this big... Um, like kickboard thing so the ferrets can't get out when I'm coming in. Um, I've just done it on one door because I didn't have quite enough wood for both and then it just lifts up and attaches there and secures at the top so the ferrets can't get out and nothing can get in like this is really strong um, even if like the dogs jumped up or anything. There's no way of anyone getting in or out of here and then this is the inside, so I've set it up for the ferrets because I don't know when I'm getting them. I'm going to go to the rescue today, so it may possibly be today that I get them. Um, but yeah, so this is my old chair, um, old hutch that was in my room. It has also been um, outside, it's had rabbits in, it's had guinea pigs in, um, and now it's going to have ferrets in. So I'll start over here. On the top I have their litter. I'm using the Breeder Select cat litter. It's just um, recycled newspaper. Uh, if you get the back to nature bedding, this actually works out cheaper at Pets at Home. Um, and it's pretty much the same thing. It's made by the same company, it's just different packaging. Um, and then I have my little ferret um, food container. There's nothing in here at the minute, but obviously I don't know what food they're on yet. Um, so I'll go get some once I know. Then inside here we have one of my um, handmade hammocks. Um, so, well, so machine made, but homemade anyway. So this is one with little flaps. I could have done with more time to repaint the hutch. Um, but I didn't have... Oh, I don't, oh, I need to... Yeah, I could have done with a bit more time to repaint the hutch, but... Never mind. Um, and then this is a little bed section. I've put this down because the floor is pretty stained. It's clean, but it's just stained. Um, and it's also nice for them. Oh, they've got this ball. I went and got a big pack of um, cat toys. Then they have this hammock in here that says, holy cow, on the underneath. Um, and it's got like a furry bit. I will be adding a lot more to this once I have them. Um, I just need to go shopping. And then down here is my favourite section of the shed. I'll just move that bed out of the way. Um, so I'll show you this first. So this is the tunnel that they have. It's um, Again, I made this and it's attached to this door. So the minute I open this, it's going to fall down. Um, they have a honeycomb hammock, which has come off its little... Yeah, so I have a honeycomb hammock here, um, which I, again I made, it's just fleece and then this sort of really pretty um, fabric. And then over there they have a little corn litter tray, I know they don't really tend to use the small ones but I had it so I thought I'd use it. Um, then they have this bed that I also made for them, so downstairs is all like matching. Um, I don't know if I'm getting girls or boys, I'd preferably like boys because males are my favourites, but never mind if it's not. And then inside is like fleece and this is nice and padded for them. And this can hang up too, but it's just sitting down there for now. They have loads of cat toys, we're getting in here little balls for them to play with. Um, they have this fleece down here as well. Um, just pop this back. On. I didn't want to, I, I ran out of um, hooks, so I've just hooked that on there and then it's hooked on the top of their ladders up there. Then over here I use this to keep the door in place so it doesn't slam shut on them. They have a corner litter tray here which is just full and I think that'll be the one they use but if they decide they want to go in a different corner I can just move it. 
Um, then they have their two little bowls here with a little mouse. Um, the multi-pack of toys was from Pets at Home also. The bowls I went and got from Poundland yesterday and I think they're really cute. They have a um, bit of piping here that I just had on the farm. And then they have this really cute bed um, and another Pets at Home cat toy. But this is from Pets at Home. It's the new um, Totally Tropical range that I just love. Um, I'm going to go get a lot more stuff for them from that I think. Um, but it's really furry on one side. Um, I might put that side up actually. But Yeah, so they've got this. I might put it inside here at some point, but um, I just have it out for the minute. And they've got another cat toy. Again, over here, more cat toys. This is just um, a ball. They all make noises. They're all a bit jingly, sort of thing fairy like. They have that basket there, which is going to be their toy basket when they've got like loads more little toys like this, because I will spoil my ferrets. Um, so once I've done my online order, um, I'll be using that to put some of their toys that they don't have out in there so they can get them if they want. Here we have a little flip lid cat litter box. Um, I got this from a car boot when it was brand new. I've tried to take the sticker off but it's not done a very good job. Um, there's nothing in there at the minute. I'm not going to put cat litter in there because um, they'll just stand it when they're trying to get in and out if they um, use it as a toilet. But I am going to put a load of blankets in there for them. I say it's somewhere to snuggle down. And then I have my little niece's old um, slide. I don't really know if it's going to serve a purpose other than somewhere for them to go under. But I think it'll be funny to stick them on the top and um, watch them slide down. Um, and then over there I just have my storage for them. So I have extra bowls. Um, I have like wire cutters and things like that in there that um, I've used to make this. Uh, when I'm in here, I don't really have a way of securing the door yet. I can lift it up onto there, which to be fair keeps it shut, but I'm in here with them. Oh, they also have this um, wand. So I've got this from Poundland. It's just got... Oh, hold on. I was going to buy some really cute ones from Pets at Home, but then I saw this in Poundland and I thought, I'm not wasting money. So it's got a little mouse in it, some balls and a feather. And I can play with them with it, but for now I'm just going to be putting it down there so it just hangs like that if they want to come and play with it on their own. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. They've obviously got a water bottle here with no water in because I don't know if I'm getting them today, but I'll probably put water in their bowl as well um, so they can choose which one they want. But yeah, it's very exciting. I've wanted um, ferrets for a very long time. Um, as you'll probably know if you've watched my channel before, um, they are my favourite animal. So I'm very excited. I need to get the carriers ready now and then I'm ready to go down. It takes me about an hour to get to the ferret rescue. Um, so I'm very excited. 